Hi everyone, it's me, Connie. I am making a decoupage um, cover, and y'all have seen me do this before, but um, I woke up this morning because um, I have an idea, and I wanted to do this, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a specific journal for a certain person that uh, placed an order, and um, so I was thinking, okay, Lord, what do I need to do? And I came up thinking, I need to put, I love the decoupage journal. I, I learned how to do this with this uh, envelope uh, from Gail Augustinelli. And uh, oh, she's so amazing. So, um, so then, let me take that down. So then um, I uh, was thinking, what do I need to do, yada, yada, and what do I want to put in it, and all these things. So, um, what I did was I took the middle apart just like that, okay? I put a little piece of um, um, tie back in there just because, you know. Okay, so I have this, um, this, I don't remember what this was packaged with, but I grabbed two pieces the same size and sandwiched them together because I wanted it a little bit thicker but I didn't want to use the stuff that I normally use because it's like way too thick. And I'm hoping this ain't too thick by the time I get my decoupage on it and everything. But here's the deal. Normally, um, what I do is it's like this, okay? It's like this. And um, you put one signature in there, right? Well, I want to put two signatures in here. And so I want um, a little bit of a spine, and then I will score it on this side and score it on this side so that um, it is uh, uh, three quarters of an inch spine. This is three quarters of an inch spine. That away, when I go to um, put this on there, I can measure where the center is and um, put the um, the pieces like a fourth of an inch apart. You know, the two signatures, a fourth of an inch, and that would leave a fourth of an inch on um, either side, right? Is that right? No. Yes. I don't know. It will even out. <laughs> will be even. Don't even ask me a math question. You know, that's not my strong suit. <laughs> but I have it clear in my head. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put that in there like that. I marked the center at the top and the center at the bottom so I can get it as close as the middle that I can. I put some tape on the back, but I am going to go ahead and still put this fabric tack on the top so that I can move it around and get it to where I want it to be. So my, I thought I would do this part because my printer um, was printing all the uh, pieces of, and I usually use, I usually, usually I use my um, scraps and I know the scraps that I want to use and I still have some of that, but I want to, uh, I don't have enough, so um, I'm going to do, uh, I had to print some more paper, so, but it's okay because I will use every bit of it. So I'm going to glue this up really, really good because this is the spine and I don't want it to go anywhere, but I also want to have a little wiggle room with that score tape being, I mean, you know, that score tape being on there, I want to be able to still um, uh, move it. I don't want it to stick straight down because I might need to move it a little bit because I want it in the center and I have a mark at the top and a mark at the bottom and I'm hoping that's the center. <laughs> oh, y'all. It'll turn out even if I have to cut part of the side off, it's going to be fine. I mean, you know, there's always a way to fix it. 
You know what I mean? There is a way, whether we want to um, deal with it or not, there is a way to maneuver it. So, all right, so here we go. Here we go. This is how we do it. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there. And then I'm going to look at this in and make sure it is where it's supposed to be. And I think it it looks about right. And this side over here looks looks about right. So I'm gonna press it down. I'm going to press it down. There we go. That is that's it. And hopefully. Um, I'm just double checking, make sure it's not moved. Everything is where it's supposed to be. Very, very good. And then I'm going to glue this, um, this down. I did not get the tie back in there very straight, but that's okay. It's okay. All right. So what I want to do now is I'm going to put, look, my, my lid, my thing is breaking. So I have another bottle and this is down low enough that I think I can get most of it in here. I'm gonna have to um, do that. I don't know why, or change the lid because nope, they're, the, they're smaller. I'm okay. I promise I'm okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna live. <laughs> here we go, we're just gonna glue. Um, I'm gonna glue this side over here down first, just because I don't want it to move around. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just getting um, just some glue here and there because it does not matter. Just a little bit of glue, and I'm I'm sorry I'm moving all over the place. It is like crazy. That is so, so okay. I'm gonna glue each side of that pretty good so that when I close it and all that, it will be just fine. All right, so this goes up underneath there like that. So that's that. I'm gonna have to do this like pretty quick. Ah. Uh, There we go. Okay, see that? Look, that is just being so wasteful. I can't do that. I'm gonna have to fix that. So what I'm going to do is make sure everything is glued down. It's glued down on each side of that really, really well. This, I've not done this before, y'all, so I don't even know if it's going to work, but I had to try it. You know what I mean? I had to try it because I woke up with the idea, and um, so, and the reason why I put a little glue under here is when I fold it, it won't be um, moving all over the place, so. So what I'm going to do is press down on each side of that, that um, each side of the spine. Whoa. And it's okay, because I'm gonna be, um, you know, decoupaging over all of this. So there's that. So what I need to do is, I got all that glue coming out. So I'm just do this number and pick it all up. It just rubs right off. Just rubs right off. There we go. Okay. And it does not matter because like I said, I'm going to, um, I really need that to, um, be glued down good 
And then um, I started to pull some of this up, but I didn't. So let me glue what I did pull up. Glue that. There we go. That is a mess. I did a really good jam up job, didn't I? Okay, because I don't want any of this to come undone whatsoever when I um, glue all this together. I don't want it, you know, when I put it all together, it's going to be down. I don't want any anything coming apart. So when the recipient gets it, I know it's good. It's good. It's golden. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. There we go. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna try to let that dry before I close it up. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of glue right on the edge as well. I want that to be nice and stuck. So, there we go. It's down. There we go. Gonna let that dry. Art glitter glue does not take long. Plus, it's got that sticky glue part as well that's already on tape, whatever you call it. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. So, uh, sorry about the glare on this, but it mm, it happens. Can't help it. So um, so now we have our book cover semi made. So I want to bend it up towards the. Um, there we go. That is. That is going to be the spine. So there's that. Let me just do this number. Push it down in there really good. So there's that. Get it as close as, whoopsie that I can and that's why I kind of glued the inside so that um, it wouldn't move on me which you know when I did this and of course I need to wait a little longer but <laughs> I can't help myself just so that it will stay down so there is that and even after, um, even after I've got my decoupage on it and everything, and when I get my pages in there, it is going to be um, a major gator mouth. I mean, it will be uh, like, like this. I'm, I'm not even telling a story. That is the way it's going to be. So, hopefully, hopefully... It is straight. Let me get that on there. Why is it moving? Stop moving. Unless I didn't get something straight. Let's get that on there like this. Okay. That's alright. And then turn this one. And it's on there. Let's see. I'm thinking the back page may be a little bit, I don't know. Let's measure and see. So, five and five eighths. Let's see what this one is. Five. It's a little shy. This side is a little shy by about an eighth of an inch. And I may go ahead and just cut 
that off because it won't matter. I think I'm gonna cut off an eighth of an inch just because I'm kind of like anal that way. Well, how did that happen? I wonder how that happened. I don't even know. Let's see. This is for sure, I mean, a little tiny bit over five eighths. And this one is just barely over five and a half. So this is exactly an eighth of an inch longer. So what I'm going to do is pull it over to my paper trimmer or bring my paper trimmer over to you and cut a little bit off. Let's do that. We're just gonna cut an eighth of an inch. And I'm just gonna eyeball it, y'all. There we go. Just an eighth of an inch. Not gonna sweat it if it's just a little off, but. And I glued it under there, so we're golden. We're all good. Did I shake my desk? Okay, so let's see how I did. It's still gonna be um, just a tiny bit bigger, but I would rather do, I mean, just a tiny bit. But you know what? That is, that's gonna be okay. That is okay. So, that is good, very, very good. I like it. So let me get my paper and show you the um, stuff I'm gonna decoupage with. And as long as I have my fold good, when I go after I decoupage it, I will still have my fold, but I will have just a, a and it's not um, that hard. You see that? It's still pliable, but I wanted it, um, I needed it to have some little bit of a stability to be able to carry two um, signatures, but also um, not so thick that I couldn't get my all through it to do my uh, binding. So, and then I will put my uh, lace over the back side afterwards, and it'll just be, it'll soften it up because like right now, it looks like we have this hard edge but by the time we get all of our decoupage on it, we get us a beautiful lace trim over the side. It's gonna soften it up. And um, and then I will put two grommets eyelets right here and um, have my tie closure like that. So it's gonna be really, really pretty. Um, Y'all have seen me do this before but not with the spine like this. So I'm excited because I'm doing something new and I want it to take you along with me. So let me get my paper. And I'm using the same paper, but I can't remember who it was. Oh, gosh, y'all, I did make a video uh, with all uh, papers that I like, that I've uh, been using recently. So it's in that list and you can see it on that video. And I will link it down below. So we have this soft, uh, look at the pretty roses. Um, aren't those beautiful? There's that. I wanted a little bit of um, something, something. Um, not too sure if I'll use the birds, but We'll see. It might end up on the back as a focal. We have those beautiful roses. This is so gorgeous. I love these colors. So, so pretty. We'll be using that. Some of it, anyway. This is on 20 pound card, uh, 20 pound copy paper that I'm gonna be using. That is so beautiful. This could be the nice little focal point for the back. And then we have that. And what I don't cut up, I will um, print my coffee stain on the back and I can use it inside the journal. So here is, I will definitely be using some of the greens for sure. 
um, for sure. I printed two of those because I know I want to pick up on the green. Here's some, um, some of that. I'm not too sure if I'll use this boldness right here, but I do want to use some of that. And um, some of this over here and this right here will be on it for sure. And there you go. And then um, I had to print uh, shrink to fit because some of the, the pictures were too, um, too big. And I don't know that I'm going to use any of this because it's a little bolder than I want to go. So there's that. Yeah, I, I, I may use this right here. I may use that right there, but nothing else. Uh, Cause it is a bit bold. There's some butterflies. I don't know that I'll use that. And um, I probably will use that. So I'm gonna put that up front because it's got some green in it. Um, also, I have um, some scraps laying over here with um, some uh, pinks and greens and a little, that may be a little bold. Um, let's see what else I have. Um, I may use some of this. I may save that though for, um, and these are just all coffee stains, so I'm going to save those to go inside. I will definitely use that on the inside. Also, I will be using, I didn't print, I need to print that, I forgot. Um, I will be using uh, this. This is, um, I have a whole, it's like a full sheet, okay? Um, this is in my uh, Lace and Doilies, or Doilies and Lace, in my Etsy store. And I always cut this in, um, little sections, and this will always be on my uh, uh, decoupage journals. So I need to uh, print one of these out, so that will be on there. And there, there may be some other things that will go on there as well. I'm just not, not sure. I'll look through my scraps and see what I have that I wanna go in there. But here we go, so, um, we're already, already 22 minutes in, so my next video, um, we will, um, I will bring you along and decoupage the cover of this journal with me. We will do it together, or I will just um, show you what it looks like when it's done. I don't know. We'll see where we are at that point. So there you go. Thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoy, and... Um, Check out my other videos that um, I took you along for the ride on the decoupage. So you've already um, seen it. So I may just go ahead and do it. And then as I start to put it together, I will bring you in on that. But I basically wanted to show you how I did this cover because I really need it. Just a small, small spine because I want two signatures. But it's still... By the time I'm done, it's going to be like this, more than likely. It'll be like this, just like if it was a single signature. But by the time you close it, it'll be okay. So, it, it's no big deal. I like it chunky and everything else. But um, I know she's going to want a little more writing space than not. So, um, that is why I am doing it that way. So that she can have more pages um, without so much ephemera in it. But there will be chalked full of ephemera. But I still want her to have plenty pages to write on as well. So there we go. Here it is. I hope you enjoyed this cover. If you try it, um, I don't know how for you to get in touch with me. Just give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell. Um, like. So thanks for watching and um, I hope you give this little cover a try and I will be back and possibly it will already be, uh, it will probably already be decoupaged, but we will um, sew in the pages together, but the pages will um, already be together. So take care, God bless and see you next time. Bye.